Right, so curiously enough, I have a huge amount of these things. What these are are blunt drill bits. And I have blunt drill bits because I also have this. This is about a million years old, as you can see, and it is extraordinarily vicious. I'm actually a little scared of it, which is why I don't go near it to sharpen drill bits, because I figure if I give this a go, it'll eat its way right down to my fingers before I can actually turn the drill around. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to run on pedal power from our Dynapod and sharpen up some drill bits. Now then, this thing is so old, it's incredible. I love it, actually. Um, if I look at that, I can see about, oh, five flathead screws. And taking things apart like this, it's always the same routine. Spot the screws, undo them, get the case apart. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, undo the screws, take the case off, and there's the internals. And you can see here a little bit of a gearbox. There we go. There's the spindle. There's the motor. That motor's about a million years old. And that's all there is to it. So clearly what we need to do is replace that spindle drive, or the motor to the spindle, with our Dynapod. Got the bits and pieces on here, and I realise there's going to be like a million ways of doing this, and everybody's going to have their favourite way. So here's the original case. I've removed everything from the original axle, and it goes in there like that. So clearly, we could stick a pulley here, we could stick a pulley here, we could stick cogs on it if we want. There's quite a few ways you could approach this. Now, I'm just going to go for the easiest way, of course, because that's me. And I'm only going to put one grinding wheel back on, which is here, and then this other one, I'm going to put a pulley. So I'll use the original fittings to take a pulley block, and then I'll put the other pulley on there, and I've got a spare belt that's more or less the right size. Bit of tension on it, screw that down. We've connected our, atta our attachment. When we pedal it, it'll spin this grinding wheel, and that's the grinding wheel we're going to use to sharpen our drill bits. Now the pulleys, you can get them just from the local store, actually. You can either make them yourself if you want by turning them up. These ones were just bought at the local store. And I'm going to drill them out to the right size and slap them on. Okay, so nothing too fancy has been done here. I've used those off-the-shelf pulleys, drilled it out to the size of the shaft, hit it onto there so it's just a little bit smaller than the shaft, and then I bolted it back down with the original grinding stone bolt. So that's held nice and firmly, and that's going to go back in its original position there we go and like I say I could have put it there but I chose to do it that because it's the easiest way on the Dynapod itself there's a pulley right there now you see the Dynapod's changed a little bit because we obviously we did the um, blender and we used a flexible couple now we're doing a pulley couple here and we put the pulley on the other side of that now you may be wondering about these belts these belts incidentally are just belts I find off things like hoovers so vacuum cleaners, they're vacuum cleaner belts. And obviously they differ in size. So if I slip my belt around there, hold that and slip it around there, then I'm going to have to adjust the position of the grinder to take the tension up in the belt. And of course that's exactly what I'm going to do if I use this smaller belt, well the grinder and veneer. So it's just whatever belt size you happen to have come across really is what I'm using. So I'm going to use that belt, position the grinder about there, and as you can see, we're actually almost finished. I've got to put the back plate back on, and I can see where the belt needs to pass. So I'm going to have to cut a section out of this back plate so the belt can pass. And then we can put the grinding wheel back on, and find out where Luke is. I'm getting to do some cycling. So that's it all fitted on, and if I give that a pedal, there we go, there's the grinding wheel turning. Now we want to sharpen some drill bits, so I've got this jig, it's made the same way these jigs have been made on the internet. Uh, there's 59 degree angle between that line and that line, and that fits on against the grinding stone, and then you hold the drill bit in the little V-cut, and give it a little bit of pressure and give it a turn, and that's supposed to work. So we're going to try that.
<laughs> okay, that was impressive. It's been a while since that drill bit could do that. Now I've got a lot of drill bits to sharpen, so I'm going to get a fair bit of exercise, which is kind of good for you, I suppose. Now, why bother with something like this? Now remember, this, it's an old piece of equipment. You find this kind of stuff with burnt out motors all of the time. And you don't need the motor. All you're really doing is making an adaptation so it could bring new life to old equipment. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.